Hi, this is Dan Whitney with the Whitney Law Firm here in Towson, Maryland. Uh, today we'll be talking about how much is my bed bug lawsuit worth? So, of course, it's a great question if you've been dealing with bed bugs. Um, I am qualified to discuss this because I'm an attorney who handles bed bug cases. I've handled hundreds of bed bug cases um, over about the last 10 years. And uh, the question is, how much is your case worth? There's no one set answer. It depends on a variety of factors. Um, one big difference is, are you just going to settle your case, maybe send a demand letter to the hotel without filing a lawsuit, ask for a certain amount of money, and see what they give you? A lot of lawyers do that. Um, the other way to do things is to file a lawsuit, use uh, litigation as a tool to discover, for instance, in a hotel, uh, just how many infestations were in the hotel, how many infestations were in that room, in response to the infestations that did occur in a hotel or in an apartment, in an apartment complex, uh, what steps did the uh, management company take to make sure that the infestation was properly treated, properly detected in the adjacent rooms or apartments, um, and that all the necessary precautions were taken? Uh, a series of treatments, uh, the adjacent inspections, all those things. And the only way to know that uh, generally is to file a lawsuit and obtain that information. If you just want to settle, send a demand letter and settle, um, your case almost certainly is not going to be worth as much because you don't have the knowledge to create the leverage to make the case be worth more. So putting that aside, whether just to send a demand letter and uh, settle without filing suit or to file suit and, and get information and really determine the facts behind uh, how, how bad the situation was, which is worth a lot, um, it comes down to the settlement value of a bed bug case comes down to a few things. One, uh, photographs of bites. In other words, evidence of bites. Uh, if there's no evidence of bites, uh, it's not a good thing. If you've only got a couple bites, your case is probably not going to be worth as much uh, as if you had you know, dozens or hundreds of bites. Of course, that's bad. But of course, no matter how many you have, you got to take pictures and or video. There must be evidence. Evidence is the tool that lawyers such as myself use to demonstrate um, to the um, other side, defense counsel or an insurance adjuster, you don't have to take my word for it that it was a miserable experience and my client was bit 50 times. Look at these photos. Look at these photos uh, taken the day of, taken three days later, taken a week after that, and, and so on to show the progression of how it was bad. And if, it, if there was any scarring to show how the bites developed into scarring, because of course scarring is a significant component, component of what a case is worth. So there's the photographs of the bites uh, and any scarring. That's an important component. Of course, if there's medical treatment, you went to the doctor and there's a, a medical record that says, you know, Dan Whitney was seen uh, at the doctor's office for bed bugs. He's got bed bugs here, 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 here in his body. Uh, it's, always, it's always helpful to have a medical record that demonstrates not only that um, the, the issue exists, but also that it was significant enough for you to actually get up, break your routine, and go to the doctor to get treated. Whether it sounds silly or not, it is a factor whether somebody simply just went at all. Um, and of course, the cost of the medical bills is something that uh, is recoverable as well. Um, the other component that is extremely significant is proof of the actual infestation itself. Uh, if there are no uh, videos or photographs of the bed bugs themselves, you're going to have a very tough time recovering anything because you're going to have a problem with causation. Uh, sometimes somebody is bitten very badly, they've got a lot of bites, uh, and if there's just no evidence, um, then it's a very hard case to take unless you'd be willing to file suit uh, and obtain the uh, inspection and treatment records uh, to get the history of that particular unit in a hotel or an apartment. And sometimes that's what we do. Um, but, but the value itself of a case, uh, we, I've, I've been in front of a jury and recovered uh, an $800,000 verdict. Um, I've settled cases for several thousand dollars depending on the facts. It could just be a, a few bites in a hotel room over one night. Uh, and everything else, you know, is somewhere in between. Um, verdicts have been recovered of over a million dollars. Um, it really just depends on the facts, uh, and, and especially the the facts of how long was the infestation in that room or in the apartment. Uh, did the landlord or property manager know about it? And if so, what did they do? 
if they close their eyes and said, you know, I really don't care. I'm just going to let it ride. I'm not going to treat and I'm going to keep putting apartment tenants or hotel guests in there. That's very bad. Um, because they showed they did not care, the case is going to be worth more because it's inflammatory behavior. Um, but of course, um, all cases are different. Any settlement is not a guarantee of any future settlement, and every settlement is fact specific. So really, it's three components, evidence of the bites and scarring, any medical treatment, and of course, proof of the actual bugs, whether by photo or video. Those are the photos and the uh, the photos of the bites and the evidence of the bugs are, are really the two main components, with the medical bills being a third component, but not as important as the first two. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, for more information on uh, what is a bed bug case worth and what is a settlement value of a bed bug case, uh, please tune in to some of the additional videos on our channel. Uh, thank you for watching, and of course, if you have any questions, uh, I offer free consultations. So please feel free to call uh, or visit our website, uh, www.whitneyfirm.com. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, please tune in for more information. Take care.